Hello, I want to welcome you to my new channel. Uh, my name is Joseph. Uh, I am a Presbyterian minister. Many people call me Pastor Joe or PJ. You can call me PJ if you would like. Uh, my wife and I live in southeastern North Carolina. And our kids are, are grown and they're, they're out of the house. Uh, we've got a couple of grandkids, but they live in Chicago, uh, young grandkids. And uh, so we've been looking for a boat. We used to have sailboats. We've had two trailable boats. Uh, we had a McGregor 21 and a Catalina 22, but we've been without a boat for about 15 years, I guess. And um, so for the last 18 months or so, we've been looking for a boat. We want a boat we can weekend on and uh, come down and spend a couple of nights home uh, and kind of get away from life for a little bit. Uh, we could find a boat. We couldn't find a marina. And uh, finally, after about 18 months, we were able to, to get a boat and a marina and find them at the same time. It's a little on the, it's on the smaller side. We bought a Catalina 25, and I like the boat. It's a good boat. Uh, but, you know, I'm 6'1", headroom isn't there. Uh, but this would be a good boat to get us back into sailing. Let's go outside and take a tour, and then we'll come back inside and uh, take a tour in the interior. All right, this is our... Catalina 25. It is a 1983 tall rig fixed keel. Um, does it is equipped with a CDI roller furler? Uh, I actually have not unfurled it yet, but uh, well, I was glad that it had that. Uh, the Catalina 25 does have an anchor locker at the front. Um, the anchor we got, we got a 25 pound, I think Danforth. It won't fit in there. I'm gonna to try to get a smaller one that will, more of kind of a lunch hook or as a secondary anchor as well. But it is nice having that. Shore power battery charger uh, is, is nice to have. Um, and it keeps the batteries charged and coming and spending the night, it is nice. Uh, does have a split back stay and uh, one of the things we had to do was to um, replace all of the um, split back stay rigging the tensioner uh, on that uh, that he had something kind of rigged up that I wasn't real comfortable with uh, so we got that ordered that from Catalina Direct there's a eight horsepower outboard a yacht wind yacht wind um by evan rude uh only time it's been cranked is when we looked at it this boat is equipped with four winches uh two for the um head sail and two for i guess if you had a spinnaker i may take those off i'm not happy with the way that they are mounted they're not tight enough and it's kind of mounted weird i may end up taking those off and uh, maybe put them on the cabin top for the for the mainsail. Uh, Catalina 25 came standard with the uh, Traveler, uh, main seat Traveler on the stern of the boat. Previous owner moved this one to the cabin top, uh, which again is, that's been kind of one of the main things we've been having to fix. Uh, it was not set up right. I've got the parts, I just gotta drill some holes in the boom and attach a couple of things and uh, that's gonna be a project uh, coming up I'll share with you. Uh, the handrails and all the bright work on the exterior desperately need sanding and redoing. But again, our focus right now is getting the boat ready to go sailing. Um, this does have a uh, fuel locker separate from um, the other lockers uh, that holds the uh, will hold the fuel tank, uh, which is nice. So it doesn't you don't get any odors in the uh, interior. Uh, there's a small locker, it's very shallow, also on the stern uh, uh, starboard side on the stern. Uh, that you can put a few things in. There's a big locker uh, here. Often, many people call it the dumpster locker. Uh, it is deep. Uh, right now, my hatch cover, hatch doors are not attached. And so uh, that's uh, maybe one of the things I do today. So as you enter the cabin from the companionway stairs immediately to the port side is the galley 
Uh, it's a pretty simple galley uh, consisting of a sink with a hand pump and a simple stove. Now the original uh, Catalina 25 probably came with an alcohol stove. I'm thinking it was a uh, non-pressurized. I wish we still had that. I like those, uh, but this boat, the original stove is long gone. Uh, we've got a single burner butane stove. Um, now I've built a very simple and kind of crude shelf. Uh, when we bought the boat, the stove just rested down on the bottom there, and that was really low. Um, I will probably replace this kind of crude shelf with a more of a cabinet, uh, make it look a little bit better and fit in a little bit nicer. Um, but th that gets it up. It also gives a little bit of room for storage of spices and foods and whatnot. Uh, this particular galley has three drawers. Uh, two on the kind of the stern side of the um, stern end of the boat and then one beneath the stove. Uh, then there's an access door where you can access the seacock for the drain, sink drain. <clears throat> now there is, uh, there up underneath the water bottle, there is an ice box. Uh, I don't know how good that ice box works. Um, a lot of people I've read about and talked to pretty much use that store in dry goods and food stuff. We may do that. I uh, haven't really made a decision yet. Behind the sink is the electrical panel. There is a, a switcher, battery switcher selector. Uh, this boat has two batteries. Uh, and, um, and then uh, your, your switch panel. Uh, there's no radio, but there is a, uh, the previous owner put in a Boss Bluetooth system. So it connects to your phone or other device and you can have music. Now there is, at one point I think, a previous owner or somebody put in a radio, but they took that out. I'm gonna clean this up, either cut all that out or sand it down and I'll make a wooden plate that will go over that and probably then put some kind of a bar or some hooks for like dish towels and whatnot so you have a place to um, hang those when you're doing dishes all right so we'll turn now and take a look uh, there's a seti on the port and starboard side again this boat is a traditional layout with settees on the both the port and starboard side there's a table that folds down and the original one was in um, some brackets so that you could lift it off and then it would sit down there's a pocket up under here that it would sit down in there and then uh, you would attach it up here to keep it from falling over the previous owner wanted a smaller table so he made one uh, out of plywood and he attached it to the bulkhead with a hinge but the way it was attached you couldn't flip it up or anything um, I will be making a new table, uh, but I have modified the way he had it so that I can, uh, and it's attached with some, uh, bolts with knobs on it through the bulkhead so I can, can detach it and set it down in the, um, uh, that pocket. Uh, so I'll show that to you, uh, in a little bit. I'll take the table down so you can get a, a picture of that, a shot of that, or look at that. Underneath the, uh, port side settee, there is some storage right here beneath my briefcase. Uh, and then I think the holding tank used to be under there. Uh, the previous owner took the um, holding tank out. The bad part about that, that virtually makes the, well, not virtual, that makes the head unusable. <clears throat> so we've either got to replace the holding tank or pull out the the head, it's a Jabsco marine head, and either replace it with a porta potty or we're actually looking at a, um, composting toilet uh, so that's a project down the road we got to get if we're going to overnight on an anchor on this boat uh, on the starboard side settee you got the batteries uh, at the aft end and then there's a water tank i think there's 16 or 18 gallons i'm gonna say 16 but i could be wrong on that that's at the forward part um i need to clean that out and probably replace the water lines. We got some black gunk that seems to be coming out. Um, I think it's better, but I do, before we use it to wash dishes or anything, uh, we'll replace those. All right, so uh, the one little piece of kind of personalization we did, uh, trying to make this our 
home away from home is uh, I'm a woodworker and I love scroll saw. So this is a uh, piece that I did after we got the boat. And um, that gives a little touch of kind of home. All right, forward we have the V berth. All right, as we come forward to the V berth, on the way is the head area. Now to the starboard side, there is a sink, uh, which right now seems to be a good place to store a uh, extension cord. But again, you got a sink with a hand pump, and then there is uh, storage and access uh, up underneath it. Um, I don't have much in there other than emergency bungs, <clears throat> um, but we'll do something in here storage wise, uh, mirror and whatnot. On the port side <clears throat> is the head against the Jasco, not functioning right now because there's no holding tank, uh, but we'll remedy that. And then on the back side of the uh, bulkhead, we do have just kind of some storage, some storage back behind there. I keep my tool kit. Uh, down there so I don't have to bring tools. The V-berth. This is where uh, I sleep a lot of the times. Uh, I'm 6'1". It pushes my length. I'm not sure if my wife and I can both fit in here, but um, but it does fine for me. Uh, it's pretty comfortable. The problem we have is the previous owner replaced all the cushions and they are extremely uncomfortable. But the other thing is they're all attached. You can see where the V-berth cushions, I'm used to being able to, you know, poke one up, pick one up, put it on top of the other if you want to access storage. But these are just basically one cushion almost with a hinge. I don't like that. The uh, settee cushions are the same way. They're attached. Uh, the settees don't work great as a berth because they're so narrow. But I think if we could remove the back cushion and just have the, the bottom cushion, it probably would be better. But again, ours are attached. And we'll talk about the quarter berth up later. Uh, there is storage up underneath uh, the V berth. Uh, that's also the forward seacock, which is the drain for the sink. And um, and there's a little bit of storage. There's access to that seacock there, and then a little bit of storage to the, to the uh, port side. Up in the V berth, there is a hatch. Uh, it is not, it, it is just fiberglass, so no light gets in, which is good and bad. Uh, I do need to replace the um, bracket or whatever you call it so that you can open it and uh, tighten it down to keep it open um, right now until they're open or closed. Um, so, uh, but that's on the to-do list down the road. All right, so that's the bee berth. Let's turn this thing around now and take a look at the quarter berth. All right, here is looking aft in the cabin. This is the quarter berth. This is for me also another comfortable place to sleep. I guess in theory, you could get two people to sleep, but the one that sleeps to the port side of that cannot be claustrophobic. Uh, probably need to not be overly tall and need to be okay without having direct access, getting out without climbing over someone or someone moving. So I think it's really best as a, just a quarter berth, uh, single berth. Uh, storage up underneath it found these uh, containers, actually at Costco, that seem to work great. Uh, you've got right at 12 inches or just under that you can slide things in. So that will provide some nice storage and some organization for it. Now, as far as lights go on the boat, there are five of these uh, lights. Uh, these would have been original lights. Um, they're rusty. The lenses are gone, but they work. Eventually, I'll replace them with some LED lights. I got some saved in my Amazon uh, cart, uh, but that'll be down the road. Again, our priority is getting this boat ready to sail. All right, that's a quick tour of the Catalina 25. I want to thank you for joining me here at Sailing Discipleship, and I look forward to seeing you next time.